So here's the problem I want you to work. Here's the problem that I'm going to go over. I'm not going to write it out because it takes so long. But what it says is, due to a storm, a pilot is flying at an altitude of 528 feet, has to land early. If he has a horizontal distance of 2,000 feet to land, at what angle of depression should he land? So they're asking us for an angle of depression. So therefore, we need to have a horizontal line. So I'm going to draw a horrible picture of a plane. But this plane is flying at a horizontal line. Can everybody agree to me that is his horizontal line? OK. Now, they're asking us for him to land, so there's going to be ground down here. He needs to make an early landing. Let's pretend the airport is right here. So the distance from where he is at to the airport, they said, is 2,000 feet, I believe. Yes, so he has 2,000 feet to land, correct? correct? Then they say that he is 528 feet in the air, correct? Now. They're asking us is find the angle of elevation that is needed for him to be able to um, land. So we need to find an angle. Of, I'm sorry, an angle of depression. Correct? Do they say angle of depression? Right. Yeah, depression. So that I knew that was going to happen. So that angle of depression needs to be from where is he going to go down to here to land? Now, where is the angle of depression? Is it right here or right here? Here. That is your angle of depression. Go back to the picture that I showed you guys. That is your angle of depression. Yes? Would you use the Pythagorean Well, no. We, well, remember, we're trying to find the angle. Yes, sir. Right? So if I draw a triangle this way, I know that this is 528 and this is 2,000. So now, if I draw this direct thing, not a parallelogram, but it's a right triangle. And what's nice about this right triangle is we have an angle that we don't know that we're trying to figure out, and then we have two sides. So then I go to this and I look, um, Ashley, why is this side related? Uh, sorry, how is this side related to an angle? Is it my hypotenuse, my adjacent, or my opposite? Adjacent. Very good. Do you want to do the next one? Opposite. Holy crap! So then this one has to be my hypotenuse, which I don't have any information on. So then I'll go to Taylor. Do you remember what is the only trigonometric function that only deals with opposite and adjacent? You're no, no, let her answer it. It's the tangent function. Very good. So therefore, I can say tangent of theta, my missing angle, is equal to opposite over adjacent, right? So uh, did we work on this on the last pro two problems, how to do this now? So now theta equals tangent inverse of 528 over 2,000. So now after we set it up, guys, we just let the calculator do all the work. So I just take inverse tangent of 528, uh, got to put parentheses. 528 divided by 2,000. <laughs> and I get 14.78. So theta equals 14.7, actually 9 when I round it. So therefore, what's important about this is the pilot, so let's say a pilot needs to land, right? Therefore, he can now estimate the the angle at which he needs to ascend down to make a safe landing. Okay? So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is now what your homework looks like for the rest of the class. I am done talking, done speaking.